welcome back to Storage Hustle, where I have $85,000, and today is going to be one of those days. It's either going to make or break me. I'm going to the Sinner's Santa Storage, I think that's what it's called. Basically, the most expensive plots of, like, lottage in this game. The reason why I've got 85 grand is because I've done a little bit of grinding because I feel that today's video is going to break me because it feels really unfair. <laughs> this place up here is a nightmare to make any profit on whatsoever. I've done this a couple of times now and I've walked out with, I would say, very little, which is just unfortunate. It's just the way this is. Okay, so there are four storage lockers here. One of them is up for grabs now, and its starting bid is $6,000. Oh, it's... I don't know what it's going to be. Please don't be a set of boxes. I've had a set of boxes, and it's like, yay, what up? 15 grand. You know what? I'll buy it. I'll take the chance. 15,000. We're done. Well, I've just... I'm going to screw myself over. I really am. This is not good. Right, 9,006. Oh, my God. I really hope this is worth it. These storage auctions up in this new plot don't seem to be worth it. It seems to be a proper sort of trap. Like, hey, we're just going to screw you over a lot. That's what I feel every time I come up here now. I'm actually quite happy Sanchez's lot. Sanchez's lot is how I've made my money so far. I've tried to win here and it's been impossible. So today is going to be my make or break. Do I want to continue to play in this place? Or do I just keep at Sanchez's? Because Sanchez's lot is perfect. You spend like 20 grand for the day, you're going to make money. That's just how it is. Is it mine? It's mine. Yeah, I won another locker that's going to bankrupt me. Fantastic. Right. Two more lockers. This one starts at 12. This one starts at 9. Right. We're going, what we do, we're going to clear up the, the rubbish. So that's rubbish. That's rubbish. That's rubbish, that's rubbish, and uh, that's rubbish. So I spent 14 grand on whatever is under this tarpaulin. Amazing. And then I spent whatever I just spent on this one, with what is ever under this ta tarpaulin. There's literally nothing else in there apart from whatever this is. Ugh. There's nothing else in there apart from whatever else that is. So I've got two cars right now. Nine o'clock's the next one, so we've got 51 grand. Thankfully, these two auctions are a bit more spaced out. $11,000 starting bid. Holy crap hola. Well, it's another thing under a tarpaulin. It could be boxes, it could be a car, it could be a squirrel for all I care. Yeah. But am I going to get screwed over? That's the big question. 14,000 so far. 15, 16,000. The worst part is, is that it doesn't matter how much you spend on these. You could get royally screwed. I did one where I spent $26,000 on a locker and I got nothing out of it. It literally, you saw it at the beginning of this series. It bankrupted me. It put me down to a point where I couldn't do anything else. Oh, right, I'm hoping this next one doesn't sell for 35 grand. I need to move my van because, well, we need to move closer to lot number 52 because there's actually stuff in here. I don't know if it... I, I, so far, I've spent 50 grand. $50,000, and I've got very little to show for that 50 grand. I've got until midday, so I've got to put stuff in my van. Ooh! Okay, we got a Buster Blade. That's good. It's the second one I've ever found. Is that supposed to be Knuckles? <laughs> oh, it's Chuckles. <laughs> Oh, that, that's good. That That's a good joke. Um, okay, a mutated pig boy. I'm a little bit freaked out about that. I don't know what it is. It's Pickle Mick! <laughs> as, a fan of, as a fan of Rick and Morty, I can appreciate that joke. That's good. Right. And one arcade machine. And... Ugh. Yeah. It's in there. All right, cool. We've we've emptied the box, the box, the box, and now we gotta wait till midday to spend the rest of my money. This is gonna be the this is gonna be the decider. Is whatever is in these lockers worth selling? So I currently have to make fifty grand, and that's not gonna be easy. I'm slowly. I'm. This is the last time. If I don't make a profit this time, I'm not coming back here because this is doing my head in. Really is. And here we go. 3,719, and this is a five-star locker. That's what I find funny about it. It's like, it's a five-star locker. 
there's not a lot in here to buy or sell. I'll buy it for nine grand straight up. There we go. Right, 26,000. Let's move my van, because I need to go and pick up the stuff. Okay, cool. Right, first off, pick up the rubbish. E Lego head. Oh, yeah, Lego head. A Viking axe. A skull. Ah, I knew him well. One Russian doll. Not worth a lot of money, these. I've been up here enough to go, yep, they're not worth any money. It's fine. Heart cube. Uh, get in. There we go. Yeah, squeeze it. Squeeze it real good. Nothing in the safe. That can go in there. And then the box, which has a stereo and a Luger pistol. Right, cool. So, if I was gonna, if I was gonna decide on what I've got in the back of my van, I'm never, ever, 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 forever, ever, ever, ever coming back here. This has been pointless. Now I just hope there are cars under these. That's not bad. That looks like an Audi. Oh, it's twenty grand. Okay, so this is twenty thousand dollars. I only need to make another sixty grand. By the way, to put this into perspective, this is the third time I've been to this place. This is the first time I found a car that's worth it. And I've found like four or five cars so far, and none of them have been worth picking up. Yeah, now that got to get to the bus stop because we got to drop. We got to go back. Uh, bus stop, Cine Center storage. Oh yeah. Right, let's go and open up the other locker that has a car in it. This one. See, I just got ripped off. Ripped off for absolutely no reason. That is the fourth time I've seen cardboard boxes. Fifth time I've seen cardboard boxes. It ain't worth it. So there we go. I've spent sixty thousand dollars, and I've got a twenty thousand dollar car and whatever is left in here. And that is it. This place has ripped me off every single time I've been up here. And if the developer is watching this, and I really hope they are, I think there's something wrong with the game. I don't think this is supposed to be a thing where you sink so much money into it and get so little out of it. Sanchez's storage is ideal. This place over here, averagely lockers over here are amazing. Like even the crappy poor ones, I've actually I've made money off of all of these, and I've been well happy. I've cleaned them out so many times, and I've been happy. Santa Cena storage, one car out of four lots, and two of them were cardboard boxes. So, unless unless there is a bug, which I really hope there is a bug, that this doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem something that is enjoyable. And really, it's just really freaking annoying, if I'm going to be brutally honest. But this car is worth $20,000. That's it. So I don't think I've got 40 grand's worth of stuff in my, uh, in my, in my thing. Right. Let's find the board. You know, I need to make money. So I'm going to charge 40 grand on sale. Go. And whilst that whilst someone might be buying it i'm going to empty all this stuff out and i'm going to basically label all this out and go from there i will guarantee lose money on this because it seems to me the game is off balance now if you go into the new section that's what it feels like it feels like it's not it just feels like it's not right right now hello buddy 22,000, how about 30? I ain't stalling, it's just what I want. 25. Bye bye then, mate. Okay. How about 26? 24? No chance? Alright, bye. <laughs> Before and after. 23. 22, 6. See? It's pointless, man. And there's no way that I've got 40 grand's worth of stuff in here. No way. Right. <clears throat> That's all repaired up. Now I'm going to go to bed. 
So I've spent $58,000 and I've made $22,000. That's basically the car so far. So I've lost 36 grand so far. Funky. And I can guarantee that this lot does not amount to $36,000. So here we go. I'm going to sell it all now. My shop, Heart Cube. Let's just double up on the prices. Just hope. 1200 and we'll just try and haggle as much so we can try and make as much money as possible. Oh, I forgot to, I didn't scan the hat. Okay. I didn't scan any of this stuff. Right. Back on the iPad. Right. Two, I'm going to do this for 500 quid. Uh, 200, that will never sell for 200, because for some reason the mechanical safe seems like it's like broken. Uh, 1400 for the arcade machine. The Viking Axe is going to be 600. Boombox is 200. The Russian Doll is going to be 40 bucks, because it's cheap. The Luger is going to be 900. The Great Sword is going to be 1600. Can you see the problem here? I'm not going to make 40 grand off this. Right, uh, 500 for that. A CRT TV, 200. Pickle Mick, 5 grand. A Russian doll, 40 bucks. A mutated pig boy, $250. Chuckles is going to be 1600. Oh no, 1600 for Chuckles. And the flat screen TV, 600 doll hairs. And there we go. So let's see if we can't make 40, 40 grand out of this. 800 for that? No, I want a thousand at least. Okay, $937. I bought him up a bit. $380. I'll take it for 450. 404? Good on you, mate. The safe, 171. That's not, yeah, that's actually a good offer on that. Right, arcade machine, 90, 1100. If we do it for 1300, you can have it. Okay, 1200. Thank you very much. Uh, 450 for the axe. If I do this for 500, I get the extra 50 bucks and it's not far off my price. That's fine. Okay, one boom box. 164. You know what? That's okay. You can have the Russian doll for 30 quid. I don't care. One Luger pistol. 768. I'm doing it for 900. Give me 800 for it and you can have it. It's yours. Thank you very much. One great sword. $1,169. She's undercutting me. If you do it for 1400, you can have it. All right. What about 1300? Don't care then. Right, skull. We'll take it as that. We'll take that as our offer. One thirty-nine for that. Yeah, that's okay because the offer is one sixty. Two hundred for the TV. One fifty-five bonus. All good. Pickle Mick. Two thousand nine hundred, mate. No, I need like four grand for this. Four thousand. Well, three thousand five hundred. Final offer. You can go away. Cancel then. Bye bye. Right. One Buster Blade. I want fourteen hundred. Can you speed it up? Yeah, I can do thirteen hundred. And if you don't want it, go away. We'll go away then. One Russian doll, thirty-two bucks. It's all yours. One mutated pig, one ninety. Fine. Chuckles, one thousand one hundred. Can you do it for one thousand three hundred and give me money? One thousand two. That's fine. Perfect. Thank you very much. One flat screen TV for four hundred and fifty-five bucks. I'll take that. Pickle Mick, three thousand dollars. Exactly what I wanted. Thank you. And the sword, one thousand dollars. Make it eleven hundred, and it's yours. There we go. So there we go. Let me. If I just go to sleep now, you'll see my final feeling. I've basically lost 20 something grand by doing the most expensive auctions that you would expect to make more money. I made $11,000, whoop de doo And I started on 85 grand today. So I've lost 20, $26,000 by doing the most expensive auctions in the game. And now I've got really nothing else to show for it. If I want to build up my money, the best place to go is Sanchez's storage which is this one here. This one has always treated you well. You go in, buy up all the lockers, you're almost guaranteed to make a profit each time. I make between, I think in this game, I make between sort of like 10 and 30 grand off those lockers there. This place here has bankrupted me three times. So I'm not happy. There's probably like one good car in this. That's basically the reason why it exists. And it'll be the way, you know, be like, yeah, I can make 100 grand off it. That'll be the only reason why it's there. The rest of it always seems a bit... I, I've Every time I've gone there, I've lost money over everything. 
So, so that's just how I'm seeing it. I'm not. I I really, really wanted to like this expansion and go to a new set of auctions and like be happier. Like, yeah, look at me. I'm going to a new place and it's going to be amazing. But every time I've gone there, it's been bad. So my advice, if you are playing this game, stick to Sanchez's lot. It's up to you if you want to risk your money, but I wouldn't go there with less than like 80,000 because you could get screwed over in every locker you buy. So thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Iris If you ever enjoyed this little series of Storage Hunter, Storage Hustle, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And until my next one, I want to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Ah, boom! Fist bump to you.